This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a motorcycle lock in the heavyweight division. Weighing in at over 13 pounds is the Oxford Monster XL Lock and Chain Combination. The package consists of a large padlock, as well as a 1.2 meter long chain with 16 millimeter thick hex-shaped links. Oxford also offers 1.5 meter and 2 meter long chains, which of course will weigh considerably more. Now the included padlock is a bit of a puffer fish, that is, it's far less massive than it appears to be. As soon as you pick it up, you can tell that it's lighter than it should be for its size, and that seems to be due to the unnecessarily large plastic cover. To be clear, there is a steel lock under there, it's just not nearly as big as it seems to be. To put this in real terms, despite being considerably smaller, this Squire lock weighs about half a pound more. That plastic gingerbread also makes picking a bit more difficult because it has the effect of burying the disc detainer core far deeper into the lock body. In fact, the pick that Bosnian Bill and I made had to be stretched to its absolute limits just to reach that core. So let's see what it takes to pick that open. The first thing we're going to do is rotate the discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to insert the pick and pick up disc number one. I'm going to tension off of disc one, then find disc number two and get to picking. Two is binding. Nice click there, seems to be in a gate. Three seems to be in a gate, probably a zero cut. Four is binding. There we go, nice click out of four, seems to be in a gate. Click out of five, also in a gate. Six seems to be loose, probably a zero cut. Seven is binding, nice click, and a little bit of movement on the core. We might have set everything, so let's tension off of one of the zero cuts and then try to set disc one. That's exactly what it needed, and we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, this was a pretty average disc detainer core, but if you consider the specialized tools and skills that are required to pick it, as well as the beefy overall construction, I'm inclined to say this is good enough for the streets. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.